Out of the 12 disciples, St. Peter and St. Thomas are the two disciples that I'm able to identify the most. Not because of their holiness and commitment to the faith, but because of their failures. They doubted and they denied our Lord as I have done. Peter denies Jesus not one, but three times. And Thomas is unable to believe the witness of the resurrection that was shared to him by the other disciples and the women that had seen Jesus. St. Peter and St. Thomas are my favorites because it's fr from them that I can witness firsthand Christ's love for us and his willingness to forgive us when we failed. Have you forgotten, Peter? On the third day, he promises to rise from death. You need to rest. Have they forgotten so quickly? Can they not wait? Can you not wait? She watched him being tortured and killed, moment by moment. He's dead, but we are not. Our flesh and blood waits up north in Galilee for our return. Our duty now is to our families. Three days. I am that much. Our faith in him has to be worth three days. And if he fails to rise on the third... Then we leave like men. Not cowards. In the case of the doubting Thomas, Christ asked him to place his finger where the nails had been placed, and also to place his hand on the side where the spear had penetrated. It was then that St. Thomas believed, and Jesus blessed him, and through him he blesses us, because by believing in the resurrection, we're also blessed. Thomas. you have seen for yourself you believe <laughs> blessed are they who have not seen me and still believe in the case of Peter a coward like I have been many times out of fear to give witness to Christ, it is our Lord that asked Peter three times, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me, Peter? Three times Peter answers, yes, Lord, I love you. Our Lord Jesus gives Peter a chance for him to reaffirm his faith three times. Three times he denied our Lord, and now three times he's able to reinstate his faith in the living God. That's why I say that these two disciples are my favorite disciples, because they give me hope, because I know that even if I fail at times, our Lord is ready and willing to forgive me and to restore me into wholeness. She watched him being tortured and killed. Do you think he's coming back? I know he is. The tomb is now open and the Nazarene is gone.